vlog and then I stopped and now I'm finally doing it. I guess I should introduce myself. Hi, my name's Jenna Cisneros. I used to be a former TV news reporter. Doors are locked and this bakery sign will no longer light up. It's hard to believe looking at this picture behind me in the video you just saw that no one was hurt. This tree came crashing down. I am starting this YouTube channel after a lot of people have been either messaging me, DMing me, commenting on my Instagram stuff, commenting on Clancy's post. If you know me, you probably know me from Clancy's YouTube channel. I guess now in this transition period, I think I'm ready to start one. Whether it grows to become something great or just a fun memory, I think that's the way I'm looking at it and approaching it. Um, right now I'm currently unemployed. I stopped working at my job and on February 28th. Then I packed up all my bags and I moved it to a storage unit where my boyfriend lives and he's in Murfreesboro, which is like the greater Nashville area. He is about to take a job in West Point, New York, because he just got awarded the position with the Hellcats, which is part of the West Point band. He is a drummer. His name's Jack. He's also been on Clancy's vlog, so you've probably seen him as well. But yeah, it's gonna be a slow move to New York, and it's gonna be a really long summer, to say the least. Um, I don't have everything figured out yet, and I think that's the hardest part for me because I am so type A. Like, usually I do plan every single step out, and for me, I just ended my job all on good terms and um, decided to leave the TV news industry. And I think that's gonna be a total separate video just because I have a lot more to say. And I just kind of wanted to make this introduction video kind of capturing the move and just what I've been up to since working at Local 12 and just, it's been crazy. I mean, I packed up my stuff, put it in storage in Nashville. Then the next day took a flight to South Florida cause that's where I'm really from. My family all lives in the South Florida area. Um, and I'm here until the 14th of March, and then I go back to Jack, and then we're flying to New York for a week. So we have a busy couple weeks underway, and I'm excited to highlight it, capture it. Um, I wanted to hear from you guys, like what do you wanna see? I've had a lot of people tell me just vlog about this transition period, and I think that's what I'm doing, that's what I'm starting. So um, a little bit about me. Um, I started off as a TV news reporter in Columbia, South Carolina. I worked for the NBC station there. I was there for two years, took a job after that in January of 2020 at Local 12, which is in Cincinnati. And I started like two months before the pandemic hit. So it was crazy. Most of my time at Local 12, I reported on obviously the pandemic. And then I filled in a lot on the morning show, but I did not work the morning show consistently. I typically worked a day side shift, which is like Monday through Friday, nine to six ish. And I was in like the four or five, six o'clock news. So a lot more harder news, I would say, than the fun, peppy morning news. So when I did get to fill in, it was fun because I got to show a lot more of my personality. I felt like I grew a lot as a reporter because I was able to do things that were definitely out of my comfort zone. The world's largest bounce house in America, and it's right here in Cincinnati. Woo, this is going fast. <laughs> I hope you can come out and check it out because it's a great time, not only for me, but as you can see, for all these kiddos. But Paul, I'll send it back to you in the studio. <laughs> I worked at Local 12 for three years and then decided to get out of the industry. And now I'm looking at some jobs in PR, but I'm also trying to take some time off. Like I only applied to a couple of jobs and I'm only, I'm being really specific with jobs that I'm applying to. It has to be something that really interests me or, you know, excites me. And I have to be careful too, because I don't necessarily want to move to New York ahead of Jack because he, since it's with the army and he's not in the army yet, he's only, he swore in, but he's not technically in the army yet. He has to go through the nine weeks, four days of basic training. And ironic enough, he is getting sent to Fort Jackson, which is in Columbia, South Carolina, AKA my first TV news market. So he's gonna be at basic training literally 15 minutes for my first TV news job. And Columbia was such a fun, special time in my life. and. I'm excited to go back and eat at some of my favorite restaurants, go to my favorite little boutiques, and um, obviously see Jack again, because that's gonna be a long nine weeks and four days of writing the letters and all of that. So um, yeah, so it, it, we have a lot 
going on this summer and we're really pumped for it. More so, I think I'm just ready for our distance to end. We call it medium distance because he was in Nashville area. I was in Cincinnati, which is about a four, four and a half hour drive. But we always would hit traffic driving. We would see each other pretty much every weekend. I would always bring Oakley. This is my six pound Yorkie mix. She's being such a good girl right now, but she is not always that good. She is a crazy little gal and she sits in the car with me for four and a half hours and would drive to Jack's and yeah, we would spend the weekend together, but the weekends just go so quick and we are just so looking forward to have a Wednesday night together and doing nothing together because I think when you think about distance far too often, you are just trying to pack everything you can into a weekend and it is just exhausting. Like the drive alone is exhausting. I don't know about you guys, but I, I am like the passenger princess. I do not want to drive far and obviously I would have to drive and we both made the equal effort to go see each other. For us, we sat at like a coffee shop. I'll never forget like when we first started dating and we set out every single date and we stuck to them. We started dating last April. So we're going on to almost a year now. Yeah, it's just been, it's been long. It feels really long. And I think it feels longer too, because I've actually known Jack since we were, well, I was 19. He's a little older than me. So he was probably like 20-ish. We've always remained friends, but we were never like texting each other, maybe like happy birthday. But one day randomly last year, he actually slid into my work Facebook DMs. He messaged me and was like, I see you doing the news thing. I see that check mark. It was just really cute. He just so happened to be in the Cincinnati area. He was going to Dayton and he was like, hey, I'm gonna be in the area, like let's grab a drink. And I didn't think much of anything. I was just like, okay, let's grab a drink. I told my good friend, Alexa, I was like, Alexa, he's either gonna be super cute or not. And there's gonna be nothing in between. Now, when he came and visited me that weekend, he had a like beard. And when I like a beard beard and Nothing wrong with the beard, nothing wrong with it, but just not, it's just not my type. Like I just never, I don't really love long facial hair. I like more of the clean cut. That's always been my taste. I saw him and I was like, I know he's cute. We just got to work on the, the beard. We ended up going out that night um, just in downtown Cincinnati, we grabbed a drink. And then because it was so late, I was like, oh, you can crash at my place. And so what ended up him crashing at my place turned into him crashing at my place the whole weekend. And we, it was like a whole long weekend. And then when he went home back to Murfreesboro on Monday or sun, it was Sunday and he FaceTimed me Monday or Tuesday. It was like really, really close after that weekend and he had shaved the beard. Yeah, we have not stopped talking ever since. And it was just special because again, we've just known each other so long. So it doesn't feel like we had just started dating. I was already like comfortable with him. It was just like reconnecting with an old friend. And so, yeah. We hit it off and he is just so great. And I'm, I'm, I always say it, I'm so grateful and so blessed to have him in my life. And so you guys will be seeing a lot more of him. It's gonna be a really fun summer. I'm excited to get some time with my family in Florida. And so I'm trying to capture all of that and you know just highlight what I do. And I hope this is of interest. I think I'll go through just um, the job process as well, like leaving a career and trying to start something new, like while it's in the same kind of like communications field, like I'm trying to jump into either like school PR or public relations, communications, media relations, stuff like that. So I will vlog all about that and just what I've been doing to get ready for some interviews. Let me know what you guys want to see. I mean, I... I'm making this because you guys are the ones convincing me. <laughs> I mean, all these comments, I, I could only ignore them for so long, right? And so what better time to kind of dabble into the YouTube world um, than, than now? So if you've made it this far, thanks for watching. I really appreciate the support and I'll catch you next time. Bye.